Hello everyone, my name is Kolawole Ojo. I am one of the facilitators of Open Class. Open Class is an online learning and teaching platform that provides resources for students who are preparing themselves for the UTME exams. On our platform, you can find a whole lot of resources for different subjects that you'll be taking in your UTME. Please, I would advise that you visit our website to familiarize yourself with the range of resources that we have for you to succeed in your exams. Please kindly visit w www.openclass.ng I want to believe you've taken that www.openclass.ng We'll be expecting you. I'm very sure by the time you visit the website it's going to be a very good and enjoyable experience. Okay, for today I'm going to be facilitating one of the subjects, economics to be precise. And uh, this will be the approach. I'm going to be using one of the past questions, the UTME past questions on economics. Specifically, I'll be taking the sample of the economics 2017 exams and uh, this will be the approach i'll pick a question we'll, i'll explain the question to you they will go and see some other areas in which the examiner can actually come apart from the particular one we're looking at and uh, i hope you're going to uh, find it watch your time thank you okay to start with the first question I'm going to be reading is the 2017 economics first question and it goes as follows. The most popular sizes of dresses and shoes are determined by the A range, B mean, C mode and the last option there D is median. Lest you forget, range mean median and mood. These are called measures of syndrome tendency another word for measures of central tendency is measures of averages or measures of location the mean the median and the mood gives us an idea of the average or the middle value in a set of data. The next thing we're going to be looking at, how do we determine each of these? The mean is the average value, the average or the middle value is the average value in a set of data. So it tells us the amount that is typical among the set of data. For example, if I have the following set of data, two, three, four, and six, and I'm to find the mean of this set of data. All I need to do is to add them together. 2 plus 3 plus 4 
plus 6 divided by how many figures are we here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, then all divided by 4. So the summation of this divided by 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 6 will give us 15. That will be 15 divided by what? Divided by 4. So whatever this sum gives us will be the mean of that value. The next is, we look at the median. The median is the middle value when a set of data are arranged in the order of magnitude. When I say they are arranged in the order of magnitude, when you arrange numbers either in ascending order or descending order, those set of data are said to be what? To be organized or arranged in magnitude. So please, you must know that for you to determine the median of a set of values or the median of a set of data, you first need to arrange, you have to rearrange, as the case may be, the set of data in the order of magnitude, either ascending order or descending order. So when I have the following data, for example, 6, 10, 2, 8, and I need to determine the median of this set of data. The first thing I have to do is to uh, rearrange this data in the order of magnitude. I might decide to do it in ascending order. I might as well decide to do it descending order. Whichever of the options you go for, you still arrive at the same answer. So can we determine the median of this set of data? Here we go. I decide to rearrange them in ascending order. So I have 2, 3, 6 follows, 8, and 10. This has been arranged in ascending order. So if I'm to determine the middle value, may looking at this, the middle value happens to be 6. So the median is equal to six however what if we have a large amount of data that's the first scenario the second scenario what if we have data that are even that is data that are divisible by two or we have data that are not divisible by two for example if i'm to calculate the median of this set of data probably the data are up to Seventeen. Seventeen numbers or seventeen figures. All I need to do is to use this formula N plus one all divided by two. The number that appear after arranging so here. It will now be the median will be the number that gives 17 plus 1 divided by 2. 17 plus 1 will give 18. That will be 18 divided by 2. When you divide 18 divided by 2, that will be what? That will be 9. So all I need to do, the whole of these numbers, I'll have to rearrange them in ascending or descending order. So the number that falls on the ninth position, the ninth position will be the median. I hope you get that right. Okay, another scenario I want us to look at is if the data are even number data. For example, so let's say we have 2, we have 3, we have 6, we have 4. I'll first rearrange this before I calculate the median. And that will go as follows. 2, 3, 4, and 6. At the end of the day, if I'm to determine the median of this set of values, obviously you can see that 3 and 4 
appear to be at the middle. So what do I do? I will need to find the mean of those two numbers that fall in between the rest of the data. So here, my median will now be equals to 3 plus 4 divided by 2. So that will be 7 all over 2, which will give us 3.5. So we are done with, with median. Please, lest you forget, the median is the middle value when a set of data is arranged in ascending or descending order. So let's go to the last one. Which is the mood. The mode is the most occurring or the most frequently occurring number in a set of data. The number that has the highest appearance when you consider a set of data. For example, let's say we have 2, 3, 4, 6, 2, 3, 2. We have 1, 2, 3, four five six seven this is a set of data so if i want to calculate the mood let's count the number of times two occur for example so i might need to go this way two the frequency this is one this is two this is three the frequency here is three then for three one two this occurs twice then for four sorry four occurs just once then for six six occurs just once so if you look at this set of data you discover that two appears the highest number of times which is three so our mood in this instance is equal to two now, let's go back to the question. I'm reading again the first question in your economics past exams, the UTME. The most popular sizes of dresses and shoes are determined by the A range, B mean, C mode, and D median. Now, what is the import? What is the essence of the mode? When you know that if you, are, if you are a manufacturer, for example, and you need to uh, sell shoes to the market, of course, you will be interested in the shoe size that has the highest number of people looking for it. So before I determine the sizes of my shoes I'm going to sell in the market, I'll first ask myself, now, which of these sizes would most likely be demanded by my customers? So if you want to determine the particular size that you sell in the market, you make use of the, the mode because the mode, don't forget, theoretically, is that figure that has the highest number of frequency. So the manufacturer would like to sell to the market the shoe size that will have the highest number of demand. Thank you. We're done with that.